Hey guys, what's up? Um, my name is Sean Result and welcome to my new web development series. So before we start, um, let me just int introduce myself. Uh, my name is Sean Result and I'm 18 years old and I've been programming in multiple languages um, for three, four years now, mostly three years, three years. Um, I'm South African and I'm native Afrikaans speaker. Uh, so English is my first additional language, but I'm sure I'll speak it really well. So this series, we're going to be um, learning how to use these four languages with each other. Um, I'm going to be starting by teaching guys HTML and CSS, and then bring in some Delphi, and then later JavaScript. But we, might be, but we are mostly going to be working with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So HTML is basically a web language, a language you basically just uh, make make the text appear. It's just a simple markup language, and CSS is a styling language, so it's used to make the HTML page pretty. And then JavaScript is to make it interactive, and Delphi will allow us to make it to transform the um, website into an app. And you guys will see. So let's actually start by introducing the different technologies which we'll be using so um, you can simply just use I'm using the notepad plus plus I have all of the links in the description where you can go and download it but if you don't have notepad plus plus you can just use your simple notepad for this and also I recommend that you go down and download notepad plus plus this is notepad plus plus and you should also go download Delphi, like here's my Delphi. Um, Delphi costs money, but if you, don't, if you can't afford it, then don't worry, you don't have to go buy it. I'll excuse you. Um, then, you then you can just, I mean, instead of using Delphi, you'll just use the Notepad Plus Plus and ignore the app and the, the app parts. So go download Delphi, um, Notepad Plus Plus. And you can just use your simple browser. I'm going to be using Microsoft Microsoft Edge. So let's actually start um, by taking some HTML. So I'm going to be doing a first um, tutorial in normal Notepad. So yes, I'm not Notepad. 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 Just, Notepad plus plus. just ignore my other files there. Ooh, I have two screens. So. <laughs> And then let's save it somewhere. Save as. Let's make a folder for this. This PC. I'll just store mine on documents. Let's go to um, PC, YouTube, programming, development. Let's just store it here index.html so I'm going to be storing um, all my pages will be index.html needs to have the .html file extension here are page so how does an html um, page look like well you always have to start with exclamation mark doc type html this just tells the browser that using HTML5 version 5 basically okay then we have HTML so this is basically start you have to add the HTML then this, the page is basically divided into two sections head and body as you probably already know, not, noticed now that most tags, it, it, and this is called a tag, and most tags have an opening tag and a closing tag. A closing tag has this forward slash in it. So it is a head tag and body. In the head tag, the something head tag doesn't usually display, and the body tag basically, basically displays. In the head tag, we can add a title. Title. We'll say tutorial. Let's make it web development 
tutorial one. Okay. Uh, go to body to say this is the body content. Okay, let's run this quickly. Uh, okay. I'll run it in Internet Explorer for now since most of you guys should have Internet Explorer. Using Macintosh or something else, they probably have Safari. As you guys can see, then the title displays here in the browser tab and the body displays in the web page. Let's learn some stuff today. We'll be today we're going to be learning. Um, about a line break, a paragraph, and headers. Headers basically looks like this. This is a header. There's different it's type of headers. Three, four, five. Six. Okay. Only goes until six. So if we display this, you guys can just see the different sizes. And let's say we want to add some text to it, like a paragraph. You'll also learn about um, horizontal line today, I think. Yes. Okay, I have some text now. Let's go to the plus plus and explorer. Let's say we add this text name. Okay? And we save it now and run to all this play like this, not how we want it to display. Let's actually put this in the header tag. As so a first part, we, we would want it to look like the original one from this app. So let's open up this again. Okay. And uh, let's start with. Okay. Let's do this line. To move the line, you will be using HR. So HR tag, which is a horizontal line or rule, actually, horizontal rule doesn't have a closing tag to it so just this tag but you should probably add the slash to it as you, guys, as you can see now it highlights which means it is now closed we compile if uh, there's our horizontal line let's move, let's zoom in a bit okay so now to do this there was a like this is a break as you guys can see how would we actually do this well this is different paragraphs we use the P one. P is for paragraphs. So this is now made a paragraph. Everything in the P tag is a paragraph. This is a paragraph, as you can see. And this makes also a paragraph. So now it looks similar, but there shouldn't be a break between these two, as you can see in the app. You write on the beneath each other. So let's add this within this one. But now if we save it and refresh, it will go to that line again. This is where we will use the break rule tag and voila. Let's also learn how to center stuff now in the middle. As you can see, this is centered in the middle of the screen. So, anything here will be put into a center tag. Center. And boom. So, that today we learned how to use a center tag, header tag, paragraph, horizontal rule, and a Break rule. So in the next video we're going to be learn more, learning more stuff and I'm going to be using the Delta IDE from there on but you can still keep on using Notepad plus plus or just just Notepad if you don't have Delphi. And I'll see you, see you in the next video guys. Uh, thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. 
and bye.